guys, it's Jackie from Sacred Journeys. How's it going? Yeah, today is the daily reading for the 5th of October, 2017. So two cards have already jumped out during shuffle. Oh, there's the third. Okay. Well, actually, this one was four. Okay, we got four today. Let's see what they are. All right, the first one is, ooh, the page of air. Page of air. So it could be a young person. It could be a an air sign that's going to come and say hi to you today. Uh, but usually it could be a message of some sort, a text, a letter, email, some sort of notification of something coming up. And then, okay, interesting. Then your next card, our next card, is the three of water reversed. So the three of water is normally dealing with, um, interesting, interesting, okay. The Three of Water normally is talking about celebrations, uh, gatherings, you know, having fun, having more fun, enjoying life with company, with friends, with family. But with it being reversed, it makes me feel like you're not doing that. Um, maybe you are having some time where you just don't want to be around people. You're just kind of isolating. And it also, three of, the Three of Water determining... I mean, depending on the surrounding cards, could also talk about three-party situations. So, in the worst-case scenario, you could be finding out that there is something going on in your relationship that you didn't know about. Uh, there's another party that's influencing your situation. So, be on the lookout for that, um, especially since, this is interesting, the next card is the Seven of Air, but it's reversed. But the seven of air normally talks about there's deception, there's betrayal, there's a thief in the camp, um, somebody trying to get away with something. But it's reversed. So both of these cards, the three of water and the seven of air, are reversed. And you do have the page of air. So you're going to be finding out something. There's an energetic possibility about you're going to pick up something, you're going to hear something about maybe you're maybe you have been thinking about somebody trying to investigate even, and you're going to find out something that uh, maybe things are not quite what they seem, or maybe you're going to find out that there isn't a third party situation. Maybe you were suspicious. Maybe you've been doing Okay, so somebody out there may have hired an investigator. Maybe you were checking up on your spouse, your business partners. Maybe you were thinking there was something going on financially that somebody was like skimming off the top. And so this may or may not be true. Okay, so the cards are reversed. So this could be, they could indicate that no, they're not doing what you thought. But still, if you thought that about somebody, that's probably not a good business partner. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you've already got suspicions and you have to hire an investigator, that's probably not a good, that's not a good relationship. It's not a good partnership, whether it's relationship like romantic or business or some sort of collaboration. If you're feeling that you can't trust someone, even if they're not doing something now, if you can't trust someone, then there's a reason for that. And if it's your own issue, if it's your own self, like you can't trust others because of your past wounding, then do your processing around it. But um, usually we have red flags and we have uh, that internal guidance system for a reason. So if you can't trust someone, don't go into business with them, first of all. Anyway, but this makes me feel like you're going to be hearing some news about family, friends, business that, I don't know, just, they're both in reverse. And I'm not quite exactly able to tap into this energy. But it's interesting. It's like, like I said, it's a, these two cards are in the warning situation. So... Maybe you are in a place where you need to get out of the house. Maybe you're 
isolating too much. But the Seven of Swords is talking about you can't trust. There's something going on. So maybe you're not trusting yourself. Maybe you're hurting yourself. That's another way to look at this. You might be um, you might be assuming the worst, but I still believe that if you've got this internal guidance telling you about something or some situation, that you need to heed that. But there's something else going on. Because the fourth card that jumped out was the patience card. And it's upright. So from these four cards that I'm, this is what, this is what I'm going to say. You're going to be finding something out today. And it, I don't know, this could be all over the board, but it's about the three of water and the seven of air reversed. So I have a feeling you're going to be finding something out that's not going to be awesome. It might not be as bad as you thought it was going to be, but it's still not going to be awesome. And so I feel like the outcome for you today is to be patient. So whatever you're, uh, go ahead and process whatever your worst case scenario would be. Because I feel like I'm talking to someone who's already been processing things, who's already suspicious about something. So go ahead and process that part of you that's looking for the worst case scenario. Process that. Even say, okay, what's going to happen if this is true? What would happen? What's the worst thing that could happen? Go process those emotions. So that way you're prepared for whatever comes today, whatever you find out today. And that way you won't go ballistic, that you're going to be patient. You're going to be kind and you're going to be responsive rather than reactive. So yeah, that's, it's an interesting energy that I'm feeling from the cards. And um, sometimes we just got to process stuff. You know, you, you know, we live in a beautiful reality. However, shit happens, right? You're going to find something out that's not always the best. It's not always like the kindest news. So take it with a grain of salt. Don't take it personally. Try not to take it personally. Process worst case scenarios. And be patient. Be patient with you. Be patient with others. And just realize, wow, okay, people are doing the best they can with what they got. And if that's their value system, they're showing you who they are. So instead of getting irritated and frustrated, just be like, wow, okay, I think I already knew that. But it's, you got to do what you got to do to take care of you, to show that, again, Show who you are. Respond in the way that fits you. Try not to allow yourself to get agitated and lash out. And I don't know, go from there. It's a, I'm sorry, this is a weird, interesting energy that I'm feeling with these cards. So, yeah, so anyway, I'm just gonna let it go with that. So just be prepared, process, be patient with everything and everybody. It might be a it might be an interesting day today, but just bless and release all the parts of you that would be uh, suspicious, already judgmental, already looking for the worst case scenario, and see how everything is going to be a blessing for you. If something doesn't work out, it's really a blessing for you. So try not to get like all hung up in something, a situation or a person or a, an organization or a job or even um, anything. It's going to work out for your highest and best if you find something out that isn't great. You found it out. Maybe you need to find this out, okay? You need to find out because that way you know what's going on. All right. All right, my friends. I know that's an interesting read. Sorry. Um, I hope it's not really bad today, but just remember, be patient and keep asking for your highest and best. Highest and best. Highest and best, okay? Be blessed. I'll talk to you later. Bye.